Uh, now to another invention, one note that has benefited millions and completely revolutionised the way we see the world. Here's Dr Sarah Jarvis. For anyone over 40, it's a simple fact of life that your vision will start to change. One of the biggest causes is a condition called presbyopia, a natural deterioration of the eye, where reading becomes increasingly difficult. Presbyopia is a huge problem. It just means that um, our ability to zoom from distance to near is gone. As we get older, the tissue around the lens of the eye thickens and effectively rusts up, making it hard for our eyes to zoom from objects in the distance to those close up. But there is an instant laser treatment that can cure presbyopia. Slightly yeah. It's called laser blended vision, and it was invented right here by ophthalmologist Professor Dan Reinstein. I was working on fixing people's night vision, and I came across this phenomenon that I realized might be of help in helping us increase the depth of field of the eye. Perfect position there. By changing the depth of field in the eyes, Patients don't need to rely on their natural zoom anymore, but instead we'll see a blended version of distance, intermediate and close-up objects. Keep concentrating on the green light as best as you can. The first step to this surgery is to use a revolutionary ultrasound scanner, which allows the inside of the cornea to be analysed with a precision rivalling one one-hundredth of a human hair. Straight into it, very good, that's beautiful. This provides an optical fingerprint, which is programmed into sophisticated lasers that can subtly reshape the surface of the cornea and alter the focal point of light that enters the eye, literally bringing eyesight back into focus. And uh, obviously it's gonna be kind of foggy because we just finished. And the results can be instantaneous. The clock's clearer, the light on the wall's clearer. <laughs> Amazing. That's amazing. very clever stuff. The procedure costs £4,900, and Professor Reinstein has treated over 6,000 patients. But the next one is someone closer to home. That's Penny Dunn, Lucia Dunn. Next is me. Let's get you nice and comfy again. Well, I'm having the treatment because I'm blurry. <laughs> I had perfect vision all my life at all distances, and between my age 40 and 50, I became gradually short-sighted. Professor Reinstein will be programming the laser for his own surgery himself. He starts by recording a number of technical measurements to create his very own optical fingerprint. <laughs> and on this side is a few bits of... So essentially we're taking all of the digital information that we have on my eyes and I'm basically choosing from the menu what it is that I want in my vision. In this case, he's altering the depth of focus in each eye to create a blend zone, so he'll be able to see close up, middle distance and far away objects all at once as the two eyes blend together. We decided that we're going to put a little bit more depth of field in to my distance eye, saved onto the disc and here we are, my eyes. An infrared laser shaves into the front of the cornea, allowing the surface to be peeled back. Next. An ultraviolet laser removes thousandths of a millimetre of corneal tissue, allowing it to be reshaped by just a tiny amount. The flap is replaced and the edges heal in a matter of a few hours. It's incredible. Wow. Well, I can actually see the letters on, on, on the chart there. The trees. Wow, in The fun. beautiful Excellent. trees. The difficult part for the inventor of this revolutionary procedure is to remember who is the doctor Oh. Uh, today, today you're not the surgeon. Maybe this <laughs> afternoon you're the surgeon. <laughs> and who is the patient? Good to be the patient. Oh, God, I've never been on this side. <laughs> <laughs> I took my own medicine. That's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, feels good. Feels good. Great. Thank you, Sarah. And thank you, Professor Dan Reinstein. Yeah, having it done himself, I mean... The guy you know. is, is incredible. We like we like cool, Professor he? Dan Reinstein, and he's also he's, he's he's told us that since the surgery, he is spectacle free 
all day, mm -hmm. performing eye surgery as he would do any day. Right. But importantly, most importantly, he can read the saxophone music in the dimly lit club where he plays <laughs> with his band <laughs> once a month. Nothing the guy can't He's do. Cool He's got it all. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> well, sticking with healthcare, now feeling